Nelson-based brothers Chris and Andrew Rodley developed a camera that gathers footage over a 360 degree radius. It's been used in the tourism sector and for security applications. When an opportunity arose to develop a system for use in commercial fishing, they quickly saw the benefits for the industry. They now produce a system specifically designed for boats that's used to audit catches and monitor the use of safe legal fishing practices. Basically the camera just takes photos at a regular interval or video and it presents that data live on the web and then someone who's allowed to can log in and view that content in real time and you know we're doing, we're doing a million impressions of that content online per week. With regard to hardware, we started with what would be considered, I guess, a traditional security camera enclosure, big, bulky, clearly not suitable for a fishing vessel at all. Uh, we went to a marine grade aluminium enclosure uh, with the previous generation, and that was useful, and we still, we still use that sometimes in tourism construction. But this is the product now that's used, and this is a cast stainless 316 um, with a bulletproof plastic dome and a fully stainless bracket, so very, very robust. The reason why you can't use off-the-shelf product is because of the importance of data security primarily. So capturing footage, storing the footage, all of that is done internally in the camera itself. There's no secondary device, there's no computer on board. The camera has one terabyte of internal storage, so that's you know, 70 days at sea. It's fully encrypted as it's saved, so it can't be tampered with, it can't end up on YouTube, it's, uh, the data is fully encrypted and it's transported fully encrypted. So actually the camera is a small part of the process. The camera captures the data, the data is moved from the vessel wirelessly using long range Wi-Fi up to about 7 kilometres line of sight. It's then transmitted back to a secure storage facility and then provisioned for review from that facility. So I think, I think this camera position is pretty good. Yeah, well obviously it's for a specific purpose to be able to identify bird interaction, having the bulwarks in the background. Trident is a limited partnership primarily between quota owners. So New Zealand fishing companies are quota owners in Trident. And Trident is about realising greater value out of the asset base by doing effective and efficient data research. So gathering data, hence the, the technology the, the fisheye products come into it, so the gathering and the analysing of that data and feeding that into various fish stocks for stock assessments to set effective TAC, so that's total allowable catches for each year, and it makes that process real time. There's now a requirement, particularly in the Snapper One fishery, to have full-time observer coverage on trawlers. So obviously trawlers are inherently, you know, there's hazards inherent to the business. It's not your normal work site, they work long hours in adverse weather conditions, you've got a moving platform and you've got moving equipment. So it is a high hazard environment and currently the process is being observed by humans. So fisheries observers are on board, go to sea with, with these guys, you know, to, to validate the things like catches and seabird and marine mammal interaction. And the reality is they're put in harm's way. Um, as some of the fishermen will say, you know, at least with a camera, I don't have to feed it, talk to it or like it. It's there, it's 24-7, it's factual and it doesn't take a bunk up. They have a roof like an overhang that, that hinges down to give the crew protection during you know, rain and sunshine. So we've had the camera mounted on that, um, which we've found. To it's an eye in the sky, so to speak, watching and verifying that what we say we do, we are doing and it's very good technology and I see the industry adopting this certainly across the wider industry. This is where all the footage comes into. This is the screen that we call dry observers will be using. You can see the ability to pan and zoom within footage so that you can go up and down port and starboard. You can uh, zoom in or you can zoom out to look at specific areas of interest. You can look up the top right hand side here this system is hooked to a vessel monitoring system, so we get a track as to where the vessel is at the time this footage was captured. You look here, we have vessel details as in speed, latitude and longitude, the heading, the port they departed from, and the port they would be discharging in. We have various controls here, so for example, we can fast forward the footage, we can rewind the footage, pause it, and sneak forward one frame at a time. 
an important thing with this technology is keeping the lens clean. So we get feedback from the observer as to the quality of the footage. And then we've got vessel activity. So, so what's the vessel doing? They might be in port, they might be steaming, they might be fishing, anchoring or other, and a whole range of activities. We even have there if any specific events occur, for example, an ad hoc event or a health and safety concern, we can tag it in the footage. And all of that is, um, you know, we have the ability for the reviewer to type in some notes and some free text. And then all of that is compiled at the, at the end of the segment. And then that's analysed in Wellington. And out of that, as you can imagine, we can pull out any report on anything we require. The fisherman owns this footage and this data and it's theirs and for anybody external to review it, they need to sign a release agreement. So there's a contract between all parties. Obviously MPI have access to the footage if the fisher allows them to. Trident as the, the host for this equipment and they have an option whether they want to make this information available to the likes of their licensed fish receiver or even some of the stakeholder groups like Snapper One Commercial, for example, who are heavily involved in actually leading this project. So it, it's up to them and they have a choice how they release that data. It can be aggregated, so there's absolutely no specifics identifiable to that vessel, or it can be you know, ag to a group of vessels or to a set month or to a set 60 nautical mile block in the ocean, right down to fine scale data if they believe they haven't got anything to lose. So, so the power is with the fishermen and they have a lot of different controls that they can utilise. This programme was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.